Good afternoon. My name is Eduardo Gomara, and the objective of my presentation today is to introduce the Eco Innovation Initiative carried out in the industrial park as Candaras in Spain. First of all, I would like to thank to the FOEM for the invitation to participate in this conference. My speech will be divided into three points, which are the following. First of all, I would like to make a short introduction of FEGAPE, then a brief presentation of the industrial park, and finally the Eco Innovation Initiative carried out in the industrial park. Well, let's start. FEGAPE, which stands for Galicia Federation of Business Park, was born in 1998 with the objective of representing and defending the company settles in the Galician business parks. Currently, 27 organizations, urban conservation entities and owner association of companies established in the Galician autonomous community have become partners of our federation. In this graph, we can see represented some of the Galician business park. Um, either federated to our association or not. There are more than 100, however, there is not an official list of them. Now, let's move on to the next point. The industrial park of Asgandaras is situated in the northwest of Spain, and it occupies, um, it occupies a space over 2 million and 100 square meters, and it has an industrial area of a million square meters divided into 40 slots. In front of the park, there is the polygon Agranza, and they are connected to the motorway that connects Vigo, Coruña, with Portugal, whose boundary is not farther than 10 kilometers. Vigo is just 18 kilometers away, where there is a wide range of services, such as an international seaport, railway, or international airport. Uh, manufacturing companies are, represent almost 55 of the 69 companies established in Nagranza. And there are also enterprises dedicated to the automobile sector and to the quarry in industry due to the closeness of, to the Citroën plant and to the stone quarries. Uh, these 69 companies hire over 3,500 employees. As you can see, the park is very well integrated in the area. Now let's talk about the uh, initiatives that help the park to become a model to many Galician business parks. We have classified them into three groups. Firstly, I'm going to talk about the initiative carried out by FEGAPE, then the initiative instigated by the local council of Porriño, and finally the initiative developed by the Galician Autonomous Government. In 2008, uh, FEGAPE published the Manual of Good Practices for Business Park Management with the objective of collecting the most important points in the design and the management of business park, their activities, and how to grow rationally if necessary. This manual provides suggestions about, how, about the services infrastructures of the industrial parks, such as the location, cleaning up um, and supplying system, telecommunication, transport infrastructures. Moreover, it explains how to improve the organization and the management of the industrial park, as well as to how to centralize the common services the pre and the preventive maintenance of the, of the park. FEGAPE made also a, a study on, of rooftop solar energy in building in the industrial park. As all of you know, Spain is a very attractive country to develop this kind of energy as we are the first country in Europe in the number of sunlight hours. Oh, sorry. Uh, the bullet points of this study is the useful area to develop sol rooftop solar energy would be over 260,000 square meters, with an output of around 18 uh, megawatts in installation. It would produce approximately, approximately 32 million uh, kilowatts per year, which would stop issuing into the atmosphere over 845,000 annual kilos of CO2. It would generate over uh, uh, 
170 new qualified jobs during the development of the uh, solar panels, and 70 new jobs during the, the maintained phase. And this would result in the creation of a technological, innovative, and valuable business, both for the region and for the community, placing us uh, between the top in Europe in terms of energy efficiency and renewable energies. And talking about renewable energies, we are thinking of developing a study about how to use the wind power through the installation of small wind generators. However, it is just an idea which is still in the air. And the last study developed by FEGAPE is the Sustainable Mobility Plan, whose objective is to reduce the number of commuters using their own car. Uh, currently, most of the 7,500 7, empo employees that come to work to, to the industrial park as Gandara, so a Granza, use their own car. I live in the metropolitan area of Vigo, sorry. Just to give you some figures, 80% of them employees use their own car, 0.1% of them <coughs> use the public transport, and less than 1% of them use the bus run by the, by the company. I would like to to focus in, in two of these initiatives, which are the, the automobile cluster of Vigo has developed an electric car that anyone can rent for 15 euros in, per day in any of the six largest cities of, of Galicia. Um, Fegape has also received uh, 250,000 euros to build 10 charging points in, in the companies associated to our federation. And the Association of Entrepreneurship of Porriño has developed, a, has designed a platform, a website where people can meet to, to do carpooling. Now let's talk, oh sorry, <laughs> this is the plan where you can rent the car for 15 euros per day. And this is the, the now let's see, the initiative developed by the local city council. In 2011, the city council connected the Lodo Valley to the sewage ne network of the Lodo River Valley collector. It was a very difficult project that it was the most polluted uh, river in Galicia. Thanks to this project, companies uh, settled in the industrial park are now connected to the public system, so they, did, they don't need to manage their own wastewater, and this goes directly to the wastewater treatment a station in the Guillaret plan, which is this one. Uh, the collector network has over 82 kilometers that you can see represented in this slide. And due to the frequent rainfall in the area, we collect this water in, um, in four lagoons along the, the park that is represented with that mark and it is used to water the green areas as well as putting out fires in case of they are. And now let's talk about the initiative of the Galician government. They want to, they would like to introduce the idea of the blue flag statues in the business park as used in the, in the beaches. Uh, it is a voluntary program that analyzes a set of futures and services that every business park should have. It attempts to standardize um, the characteristics and to certify that the, that the infrastructure conditions uh, are good. And the committee assesses uh, aspects such as the maintenance, the environmental management, and waste, among other things. And depending on the score reached, they are or, or are not aware with the flu, blue, flag, blue flag status. There is not uh, yet any Galician park with a blue flag status. However, some of the business park has already expressed their interest of having it. And recently, the, the Galician autonomous government published that they would like to recover the wetlands of Ascandaras de Budiño and the Lodo River banks because the construction on the industrial park Ascandaras and, and its in, in taxi, in taxi Activity have spoiled this natural spot. Moreover, the frequent rainfall has swept millions of, of uh, cubic meters of sand and waste into the river. Among the actions 
mm, expected in the area. I would like to highlight the, the its cleaning up, the improving of the habitat of the natural spot, the recovery of endangered species, the building of bird watching platforms, and to tie via the Camino de Santiago, which crosses the wetlands and the industrial park. And finally, well, this is the, the area they would like to recover. And finally, we have the program Silva Plus, which is a cooperation between the Galician Forestry Association and its, counter, and its Portuguese counterpart. Um, the, its main objective is to encourage energy saving and the employment of energy sources that are environmental friendly through the, the employment of indigenous resources. There is also a, a plan to store air pollution meters to control the air pollution, but it is also in the air as the use of wind generators. These are some of the most important and recent eco-innovation initiatives that are affecting the industrial park as Gandaras. However, well, but what is the role of my federation in all of this? We try to identify and facilitate the implementation of the best management practices in, in other business parks. We try to inform and announce the initiatives that are affecting other industrial parks, identify when and where to boost business land, and define the, the performance standard for the managing bodies and cooperate with administration to make business a, a, a source of income and jobs. So this is the end of my presentation. I thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, I would be glad to answer them. And if you would rather prefer, you can contact me through my email.